follow this tutorial, you will need to have Mac OS 10.5.7 or greater and GarageBand 09. Open GarageBand. For the purpose of this tutorial, choose Electric Guitar in the project window. Next, name your song and save it. You should now see GarageBand open with a single track and a default guitar amp set up. Click on GarageBand, Preferences, and then Audio MIDI. For audio output, select 1. You will see a message asking if you really want to change the audio driver. Choose Yes. Do the same for audio input. To experience the full audio resolution of one, select Advanced, and for audio resolution, select Best. Close the Preferences window. Make sure that Guitar Track is highlighted. Click on the amp so that you see its controls below. Click Edit. Set Input Source to 1. Set Monitor to On. Click on the icon next to the Input Source. This will launch the Apogee 1 control panel. Here you can select the different input sources of one. For now, select Instrument. One can control input and output level with a single knob. The first three icons on One's top panel indicate which input source you have selected. We have Instrument selected, so you will see the guitar icon is lit. The last icon is for output level. Switching between them by pressing One's multifunction encoder knob allows you to adjust input or output. Plug in your guitar, plug in your headphones or speakers, click on the Record Enable button in GarageBand, adjust your levels, press Record in GarageBand's transport control, and begin recording. If you want to record vocals or an acoustic instrument, click on the Plus button to add a new track. Choose Real Instrument. Make sure input source is set to 1 and monitor is set to on. Open the Apogee 1 control panel. Change source to internal mic if you are using One's built-in mic, external mic if you are using a dynamic or ribbon mic, external 48 volt mic if you are using a condenser mic. Click on the record enable button, adjust levels and record.